let's talk now about transient state flow. As the name imply is a transition between laminar flow and turbulent flow. I like to call it the limbo because we cannot model it. It's uh, sometimes it is something similar to laminar flow and sometimes it changes to turbulent flow. So eventually you cannot model that or you should not model it. It's very hard to model and yeah, I will definitely recommend you to avoid this region which is 2000 and less is laminar, 10 to the 5 power or more is turbulent, avoid the region, it's about 2000 to I think 100,000. Avoid that region of Reynolds number and you're fine. So just for the sake of the exercise, let's do this. Given a pipeline of oil with this density and this velocity and this diameter, Calcula uh, calculate the intervals of viscosity in which we will avoid transient state. So as I told you, I don't want to have transient state. So how do we do that? We need to be sure we are not having this Reynolds number interval. Okay. What I'm going to do is essentially calculate the Reynolds number for 2000 and calculate the Reynolds number to 10 to the... Oops, it's 5. So, first case... 2000, second case is three, four, okay, 5, yeah, this number is correct. Recall that this 10 to the 5 density is the same, the velocity operation is the same, the diameter is the same, the only thing is the viscosity. So we, let's say we cannot change anything, we cannot change the velocity, we cannot change the diameter of the pipe, and the fluid won't change. So the only thing we can do is to heat or increase the temperature to change the viscosity. So from mu number one, which is the laminar flow, I have this one. And for turbulent flow, I have 4.25. So I don't know. I will tell you that either you operate with less than 4 centipois or you operate more than 200 centipois. Because if you are in between, let's say you have 100 centipois, you will be working in turbulent flow, which is a very risky and very difficult to model a region so avoid that this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.